At the age of 28, Vijay Mallya took over his father's business and became the chairman of UB Group. Ever since, he acquired various companies and ventured into different businesses. However, he became the king of good times only in the year 1999 when he released Kingfisher Strong Beer. This product revolutionized the beer industry and became the best-selling beer across India. Eventually, Mallya became one of the richest businessmen in the liquor industry. Apart from this, he acquired political status in the year 2002 when he was nominated as a member of Rajya Sabha. Mallya's good streak was all set to change in the year 2005 when he started Kingfisher Airlines after borrowing 7000 crores from banks. Although this airline posted profits in the initial years, a series of decisions by Mallya had changed everything upside down. In the year 2007, Mallya acquired Air Deccan Airlines in order to make Kingfisher an international airline. This acquisition costed Kingfisher Airlines a lot of money. It began to report losses and this only multiplied with time. Raising crude oil prices and the economic recession of 2008 drove Kingfisher's net loss into thousands of crores. As a consequence, Kingfisher Airlines couldn't even pay salaries to its employees. In October 2012, the government suspended Kingfisher Airlines license. Today this company owes more than 9000 crores to banks. Apart from this, it is yet to pay crores of income tax, service tax and salaries of employees. In order to recover from this heap of loans, Mallya sold 27% stake in his United Spirits company for rupees 6500 crores. But none of the Kingfisher lenders got a share in it. This forced the banks to declare him as a willful defaulter. You may be wondering that why didn't banks sell Mallya's assets to recover these loans? Here is the problem. Mallya pledged four things as securities for a loan of seven thousand crores. They are real estate property, helicopters, share of Kingfisher, and the trademark of Kingfisher. The trademark of Kingfisher is the biggest security of them all. It is valued at about four thousand crores. during the time of obtaining loans however now this trademark is highly devaluated its worth is extremely less as it what it used to be the helicopters proved to be worthless and the shares turned out to be a piece of paper the only option now is to auction the properties but these constitute only a fraction of the loan amount all these circumstances forced the state bank of india to seek the arrest of vijay mallya however During this time Vijay Mallya left India to London. His absence in the court made him a proclaimed offender. All we can hope now is that these banks recover as much of the loan amount as they can. Because at the end of the day, these are public sector banks and if they lose money, the country as a whole would be at loss. Thank you so much for listening. I am Muskan Gupta. Stay tuned with Lopit in order to see more of such videos. If you have found this informative, do share it amongst your friends. Thank you.